Deborah from Blackbird Realty. Today's topic is raising the rent on your property. It might seem simple, but oftentimes the amount of money to be gained by raising the rent isn't worth the actual cost in doing so. Let's consider a common scenario. Your house is renting for $1,150. You decide to raise the rent $50, bringing that to $1,200. This will give you $600 more per year. The renter already thinks they're paying too much and no improvements have been made to warrant the increase. So they decide to look around the neighborhood for a house. They find one for $100 cheaper per month and move. They are saving $1,200 instead of paying the additional $600. Even under the best circumstances, there will be turnaround expenses that cannot be charged to the departing tenant security deposit. Utilities will need to be turned on, landscaping must be maintained, Painting in the unit may be necessary because of normal wear. Carpets could need stretching. During this process, chances are that the home will be vacant for at least one month, and that loss of rental income will be $1,150. Here is an example of fees that must be considered. $1,150 loss of rental income. $100 landscaping service. $575 realtor fees. $150 for utilities, $1,200 to $1,800 in refurbishing costs. The best scenario would be about $3,800 for just one month of vacancy. Each additional month the home is vacant will add another $1,150. So factoring all costs involved, the decision to increase the rent $50 per month will take six years and four months to break even. This is determined by dividing the $50 increase into the $3,800 loss, giving you six years and four months to break even. Our advice is to keep the cash flowing into the property and not just raise the rents to raise the rent. It could make a great tenant move. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any further questions, you can contact us with the information below.